everybody, it's Joel here from the Artisan Market, um, and I'm in a classroom right now, and today I am going to be, I thought, I was like, I really want to paint today, so, <laughs> we finished my desk, back there, um, and I was like, I really want to paint something today, so, a very nice couple, um, donated us some old cabinet doors, doors that they had in their shed. Um, so I took the pieces, some pieces off with the drill. As you can see here, I have the pieces. There was a knob and a bunch of screws, and then we had the um, hinges. hinges. Um, I took it off of here, and then. I am just, ooh, let me grab something. I'm just using a cloth, a regular cloth, to kind of um, wipe off any, like, dirt um, that might be on there because I'm going to be painting it today. Also, I am using, uh, you can see this over here, I'm going to be using a stencil. I'm going to be painting this, and I'm going to be using a stencil. So I'm going to be using this really cute stencil. It's like a, sorry about the glare. It's like a really cute tree with like some butterflies and just, it's, we thought it was so cute. Super, super cute. I have me a, two kinds of, I mean, do, two colors of paint. I'm using the Debbie's Design Diary DIY paint. This is if you haven't heard already, this is a chalk-based paint, and they have, like, really amazing colors. So, today, I'm using... And clay, too. Yes, and clay. French millinery. French millinery. This is, like, a really... I don't know if you can really see that can't really see it. It looks kind of gray on camera. Um, this is like a purple, like a light purple, kind of like a nude purple. And then I'm using, let's see, petticoat pink. And this is like, kind of, it's like a light pink shows up like different colors on camera but this is like a really pretty pastel light pink and I am using the paint pixie number eight brush it's teal <laughs> uh, um, to paint it and this is the chip brush yeah it's a jute brush um, uh, I'm using the purple as my background and the pink as uh, the color for my stencil. Um, so I'm going to be using that. And then also I'm just going to be using a 1,500 chip brush. chip brush for my stencil. And I have a bowl of water right there. So I'm just using a regular cloth. <laughs> Not any brand, specific brand. Okay, so I'm going to put my paints over here. I'm going to dust off the edges a little bit more. And this is like really smooth, so it doesn't really need to be sanded. <laughs> you can see her a little bit there. I'm trying to open this She's trying to open the paint right now. That is Terry which is my grandma that I call T. <laughs> You've seen her in some of the videos. Or all the videos. <laughs> You'll see me in most of them, but not anymore because I go back to school tomorrow. So you're not going to really see me in a lot of them anymore. Okay, so got that done. I also have a very, as you can see, this tablecloth has made it a few years because it's covered in paint. <laughs> I'm sure it'll make a lot more years. Okay, so we're gonna start, I'm gonna pull my bowl of water over here. 
closer to me. Do I paint the back? I didn't want to show them. Okay, I'm not. Also, let me show you. Yesterday, my grandma, Terry, painted this one out of the cabinet door, one of the cabinet doors, uh, for my brother, Shelton. Um, and he's really in love with it. So I'm going to be making something. I don't know if I mentioned this. I'm going to be making this for my sister. She is three years old. Um, I'm going to be making it for her. We've made a bunch of paintings and stuff that we've hung up in her room. And I feel like this one will go really good. And I think these colors will go really good. Because her favorite color is purple, pink, and blue. So, and I really like these colors. So I might make me something out of these and just stencil. I don't know yet. But we're going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start by dipping just the tip. These brushes here, the Paint Pixie brushes, they're like really thick and have a bunch of bristles. They hold so much, like paint and water. So I'm just going to dip the tip of the brush into it. can't really see it right now. And now I'm just going to let the, some of the water drain out on the edge of the bowl. And then I'm going to squeeze it. Did you see all? I don't think you could really see that, but a whole bunch of water just came out and some more. We don't want it to be too wet. Okay, so we got the, she got these open. Oh my goodness, this pink color, I'm in love with it. I don't know if you're going to really be able to see it. Look how beautiful. And then we have the purple. Well, this one, whoa, this one has like never been used or barely, I think it's barely been used or never. So it's like a really, it looks like gray on camera, but it's like a really pretty purple. So the background's gonna be purple, so I'm gonna set the pink to the side. I'm gonna close it up so it doesn't really dry out because this paint dries really fast. So you gotta be a little bit careful. Also, I will be doing, um, uh, I'm gonna be making a surprise painting for my grandma, Terry, um, as you know her, uh, Terry, so I'm just going to call her Terry. <laughs> I'm going to be making her a surprise painting, so make sure you stay tuned and watch out for that video. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. Okay, we're going to dip the tip, because we don't want to get too much, and then we're going to just start painting. I'm doing a horizontal. I'm doing horizontal painting. I'm just going to paint it horizontally. I think this is horizontally. Vertically. No. I'm painting it vertically. I don't know how to say that. <laughs> I'm going to paint in vertical lines. It took me a minute to realize that I was saying the wrong thing. Okay. So I'm just going to paint all this. And I also am going to be using a um, heater, like a heat dryer thing, uh, to help dry it faster so I don't take up a whole, whole bunch of time. Because I'm not sure what time it is, but I have to eat lunch soon. Okay, so also, if you don't know... Like, if you're new here or you just don't know, I am 10 years old. My name's Jewel. I am 10 years old. I know I talk a lot, but <laughs> my name's Jewel. I am 10 years old. And we've mentioned this in some of our videos. We, I know, like, a bunch of adults. We know, like, a bunch of adults are like, we're like, tell you, tell you to paint along and stuff and, like, paint this. And they're like, no, I can't paint that and all this stuff, but if I'm 10 years old, you're 30, 40, 50, 60, however old you are, and I'm 10, I'm pretty sure that you can do it if I can do it, and I got a bristle here, let me get that off, there we paint it right there, I'm 10 years old, and I'm here to say, you, if you're older than me, or younger than me. I have a three-year-old sister that can paint. 
so I'm pretty sure a 30, 40, 50, 60 year old can paint, or older. Um, anybody can paint, and also I just want to say, I am, I have been, I'm not embarrassed of my painting. I am, I may be like, oh, that's a little bad, but I'm not going to be embarrassed because it's not perfection that counts. It's just having fun that counts, and if you not, if you like it, then that counts. If you don't like it and somebody likes it, that can just make your day, and everything is beautiful. You are beautiful. Every painting that anybody does is beautiful. Everything is beautiful in life, so... Just don't worry about what other people think. It's having fun is what counts. So, I love, love, love painting with my grandma because that train is being so rude. <laughs> I love painting with my grandma because we're spending granddaughter and grandmother time together and that's really all that counts to me is just spending time together and having fun so if you're watching this why don't you if you have some paint and a canvas or something that 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 can be painted on and you w would like to paint it how about you just grab some you just grab it and paint along with with us and yeah and we also have some classes where you can learn to like finger paint flowers and you can just learn how to do some stuff from us so just make sure and check out our other videos if you want to paint with us it's super fun to paint with us or you can just bring your stuff up here and come join us one day and we can just paint with each other well, not really me because I'm going to be in school, but you can just paint and have fun. If you're lonely or something, just come up here on a day that, one of, like, she's here or something, and just come up here and paint. It's fun, and we, nobody here in our amazing little town here, nobody here is going to judge. I mean, nobody, people have the right to judge and you have the right to be hurt by them um, judging it like badly but just don't care just be like okay it's, it's fine because you can even learn from your mistakes it's really good to learn from your mistakes and I learn from my mistakes all the time I might mess up on a painting and they'll see me be like oh no I messed up but I'll always be like that's okay though maybe it was just meant to be like that because God does everything for a reason. So at the end, it will be there for a reason. So just remember that. Everything happens for a reason. God does it for a reason. And just let it be. If someone says, oh my God, that's not a good painting, or they're hating on it, just let them do that. Because there's nothing, there's no sense in getting really upset about it if if you like it. it you shouldn't get upset if somebody else doesn't like it so I'm here to tell you just don't let anybody just let them judge let them judge just don't let them hurt your feelings okay so I'm just painting the sides right now I have the main coat here on I'm just painting the sides now because we want some full coverage. I'm just not going to paint the back because the back's not going to be showing. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay. And then you might hear the drill back there. Terry is back, my grandma, is back there um, working on something. And you can also see her working on it. If you want to, not, not right now, but you can see her working on it as the days go by. You'll see like the finished and first project. You can see part of one of them right there. The sweet couple also donated those to us, or gave those to us. So thank you so much if you're watching this. I gotta do two more sides.
sides, and then I will be done with the base coat. And you just heard my mom walk by, known as Candy. Hi, mom. <laughs> I mean, I'm mom. <laughs> known as Candy. <laughs> She's my mom, and she's my baby girl, <laughs> my grandma's daughter, my mama's mama. <laughs> no, I mean, I'm mama's mom. Yep. This smells like my mom Bernie's house upstairs. <laughs> some of the stuff that's upstairs. Awesome. I need to go get that dresser thing that he gave me. Yeah, that would be a good video. Mm -hmm. I'm excited to do it, but it's just won't fit in my car. These are heavy knobs, too, but they're shiny. I'm sorry my head was in the way. That looks good, Jean. Okay, so we're going to put my <laughs> Thank goodness for the drop pop. Yeah. Accidents happen. Okay, so I'm gonna put my brush in the water and kind of move it around a little bit. Kind of get some of that paint out so it doesn't dry in there. Okay, so we have this here. I'm gonna be using the heat tool um, to kind of dry it real quick because kind of need to hurry <laughs> this up. Also, don't get too close with this, especially like like with a heat gun, like with heat because the paint or the canvas or whatever you're painting on might bubble up. That has happened to me before and it will get really hot, so just be really careful with heat on whatever you're painting or just basically on anything. So I'm not going to get too close, probably get like three or four inches away. She's just using some of my water there. I can already see it drying. You can't really tell, but I can already see it drying. This paint dries really quick, so it shouldn't really be that big of a problem if you're in a hurry. But if you need it like really dry, just use some heat on it, but not too much. Also, at the end, I um. I may uh, sand like some of the parts to kind of make it look a little and um, rust, rusted, distressed <laughs> um, to make it look a little bit distressed because I don't know why but I really like the vintage distressed looks and we also kind of sand in some of Shelton's places but and it's turned out really good, so I'm really in love with the vintage. I know this isn't mine, but I'm really in love with the vintage. I'm going to do what I'm doing, what I like a little bit on this that I can do. Because me and her basically like the same thing. She says, she's three, so she doesn't really understand, like, twins and stuff. So she basically, she is all the time saying we're twins, because we, like, love the same most of the same food, some of the same food. She has a whole bunch of allergies, but we like um, some of the same foods, and um, like we dress alike a lot because our mom makes some of our clothes, um, so we dress alike, alike sometimes, and um, we wear our hair alike. She calls it a daisy hair when you have your hair pulled up in a ponytail at the back of your head. She calls it a daisy ponytail because she loves um, Minnie's Boutique and Mickey's uh, Clubhouse, Mickey Mouse's Clubhouse. 
um, and Daisy wears her hair like that. And so she we wear the same hairstyles and a bunch of other things. And she's just she just we're twins, so we basically like a lot of the same things. And both of our favorite, one of our favorite colors, like I said, are blue. My favorite color is blue, and she, one of hers is blue too. So that's really nice. Okay, turn this off. This thing is so hot that you can smell it burning. So we're gonna prop this on up. I'm gonna shoot her over there. Okay. Make sure it's dry. It's not dry everywhere. It's not really dry everywhere. Come on. We got some customers in the artist market. It's not really dry everywhere, but. I think it is dry enough, so I think it'll dry within the time that we are uh, going to be getting set up for this we stencil. We can let it snow. And she does like custom measurements for the dresses and clothes and everything. Okay. We have some customers in the artisan market. Um, so I'm just going to open up my stencil. This is... A what? Oh, yeah, she moved down um, on the other side of Presley's in that little bitty building at the very end. This is yeah. a 12 by 12 okay. stencil, so... All right, well, good uh, whoa! <laughs> so, um, I'm gonna, it's not really gonna all fit on there, on the, on our cabinet door, but I'm gonna take and move it around to, um, do it. I'll just show you what I'm going to do. Let me get it out. I feel like this would look really cool. Okay, so basically I'm going to be... Oh, goodness, you guys can't really see that. Okay, there we go. Okay, so I'm going to see it won't... Yeah, it actually does all fit. But I'm not going to do it like all together like that. I'm just... can't really see that. But... I'm going to have like the tree right here in the middle, like kind of farther down in the middle. And then I might like take the butterflies and just spread them out like on the sides and stuff. So, we are going to try this. <laughs> Hopefully it works. I'm pretty sure it will work, but I guess we'll just see. This is kind of turning like a pink color. You'll have to hold it very still or yes. tape it down. I think I'm going to probably tape it down because I can't try to turn it off. Just don't push the tape too tight because you don't yeah. want a chance of um, pulling any of your paint off, but you can always touch that up if you need to. Um, there's that tape dispenser at the by the register in there. I will. I'll just stop. You've got time, just go get it. Alright, I'm going to write this register, Joel. Oh, this way. <clears throat> they didn't bring the whole thing. Okay, I'm back. I got some tape. Take this down. Candy, I have some cauliflower salad left. Do you want it? Uh, that was just y'all. Well, there were some ladies, but they were uh, looking for Deanna. Okay. Mm -hmm. We just mostly need one or two pieces. It's just to help hold it skin. Yeah. I'm trying to do it, but it won't. I'm trying to do it on the side, but it won't work. So. Yeah, I bought El Cheapo tape. Just because the thing's too big. Oh. Okay. I'll just take this down so it won't move. And it came. Okay, let's. There we go. So, we're going to be using.
using our, what is this called again? Chip brush. Chip brush. <laughs> Should I wet this? Um, I wouldn't. I wouldn't because you want to keep it pretty dry, just, just barely any on the tips because yes. you would rather go over it and over it and over it. Okay, so good. This there. Okay, so we're gonna get some more on the tip. <laughs> That's not really a lot. But let's do this. Let's do this thing. Do it, do it. And I'm just dabbing. Make sure and get all of the holes filled in with the paint. No, this is like kind of a long video, but I can't really help it. Okay. No, but Jules video, but I'm. I'm, I'm oh. Okay. I really like the stencil and its colors. I like that stencil. Mm -hmm. It's so pretty. Yeah, right. The colors are pretty good. Yeah. You're so lucky you've got a grandmother that's so talented and just gonna pass it on to y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Should be done soon. That was just one of our um, workers here. That's Miss Sherry. She's a really, really sweet elderly lady. She's so sweet. You can probably see her. But she's really sweet. We love her. Okay, so I'm just, like I said, I'm just dabbing everywhere. You can't really see it. Maybe I should turn like that. Let's dump on my ring light. Okay, let me see if I can. Okay, I turned it off so you, maybe you can see like a little bit better. I think you can see like a little bit better.